Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I'm back with my busy BB doll. As I mentioned in her OMG doll review that I posted a little while ago, this doll did get quite a few bald spots in her hairline. After a lot of styling and playing with this doll hair, it also got a little dry and frizzy. That's why I decided that I'm gonna reroute this doll very soon, but not before I do some more fun styles with her. Since we're all staying home, I've been seeing so many DIY at home haircutting videos, especially for bangs and for hair makeovers going from long hair to a short style. Since I was gonna cut Busy BB's hair anyway, I figured it would be really fun to share this process with you guys and see how she looks with her new haircut. If you like these types of videos on my channel, make sure to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up. As you can see, I already gave my doll a very long bang. To shape that up, I want to cut that a little bit shorter. To get the soft bang look that I want, I make sure I cut in upward motions instead of cutting straight across. This also makes the bangs a lot more forgiving when you did not manage to get that perfectly straight line. The particular hairstyle I wanted to give this doll were the side swept bangs, which is also a very good option if you don't want to commit to doing a perfect line. Then when I like the look of the bangs, I start going in with my scissors, cutting off the bulk of her hair. This step gave me the general shape of the haircut. As you can see, I did miss some really long strands, so I do check and fix those strands. Then I separate the bottom layer and go in again to perfect the haircut. To soften it all out, I once again cut in that upwards direction. If you want to try this as well, be really careful not to cut in your fingers. This specific technique makes sure that the hairstyle will not get too heavy or thick towards the ends but makes everything look a little more natural and lived in. After that, I also let down the top layer and do the exact same thing, cutting in those upward motions. Then when I wet the hair, you can see that the bangs did not stay in place naturally. To make sure they will stay down, I section off the top layers of hair again and keep those separate. Now I kinda lay those bangs in place the way I want them to dry and just tie the strap of fabric Busy BB comes with around her bangs. You want this to stay really nice and tight to make sure the hair does stay in place like that. That's why I did redo this off camera and found that it stays in place a lot better if you tie the strap under the hair in the back. So for you, I do recommend adding that hair into the top bun as well and just keeping the front triangle pieces out. Now what I do to finish the hairstyle is wrap the hair around straws. I wanted kind of that messy look so I don't wrap them perfectly and I also make sure to leave some ends out. This creates a more modern messy look that I'm going for this time. I also alternated the directions of the curls wrapping some strands around the straw towards the face and wrapping some others away from the face. Overall, 
I wasn't going for a perfect curl at all, but I just wanted a nice texture and movement in the hair. Because I didn't need these curls to stay in permanently, I just let these curls sit overnight before taking them out. Then I also took out that strip of fabric and played around with the bangs and the curls a little until I was happy with the look. I really hope you liked the look I created in the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to comment down below to let me know if you prefer the long or the short hair for a busy BB. For more pictures of my dolls, follow me on Instagram as well, at the doll boy. And before I go, I wanted to give you one more very important tip when cutting doll hair. Know when to stop. See you next time!